All right, right now, a hearing is underway for the young man that you see on your screen right here. Remember him? That is Jack Texera, the Massachusetts Air National Guardsman who's accused of leaking classified documents. We've learned that he's expected to change his plea to guilty. So NBC 10's Alicia Palumbo is live outside federal court here in Boston. Alicia, what is expected to happen for Texera? Well, he is expected to make that plea change in front of the judge. We have confirmed he is now in the courtroom here in federal court. And then the judge will have to decide whether or not to accept it. Then next, of course, is sentencing. Now, if you remember, Jack Texera of Dighton is facing up to 60 years in prison if convicted, as well as a fine of up to a million and a half dollars. The 22-year-old Massachusetts Air National Guardsman is accused of stealing and then disseminating classified military documents about the war in Ukraine and other sensitive information on the social media platform Discord. Texera was arrested by the FBI last April at his home in Dighton. He was then indicted on six counts of willful retention and transmission of national defense information. Texera had been working at Otis Air National Guard Base on Cape Cod since 2019. NBC10 Boston legal analyst Michael Coyne says Texera's expected guilty plea is a big win for the government no matter what the ultimate sentence is because it avoids a highly publicized trial dealing with a lot of classified information. Some of this information is highly classified, and some of it deals with our relationships with foreign countries, some friends, some enemies. And so there really is a concern that the trial itself uh, could expose other secret areas that the government would rather keep secret. And so it's, it's a benefit to the government, no doubt, to not have to go through that trouble and that expense. Again, that hearing, that change of plea hearing is going on inside the federal courthouse as we speak. My colleague, Abby Nascota, is inside that courtroom and she will provide updates this afternoon. We're live outside the federal courthouse in Boston. Alicia Palumbo, NBC10 Boston.